A blessed day to everyone. My name is Chris and I'm going to present to you a video tutorial on how to construct a bar graph or pie graph or other appropriate graphs from a given table, specifically a categorical distribution in Excel. In descriptive statistics, a bar graph or a pie graph summarizes a big set of data for easy interpretation. A bar graph or a pie graph is appropriate for tables or categorical distributions whose categories are words. A given table or categorical distribution together with the column titles and the table title needs to be copied or encoded in Excel before a bar graph or pie graph or any appropriate graph is constructed. So, an example, if this data on civil status respondents is encoded in Excel. We have here the status categories, divorced, married, single, widow, and their corresponding frequencies. How does Excel construct a pie graph or a bar graph or any appropriate graph from this categorical distribution? First, click Insert tab and then under the Charts group, select an appropriate graph for the categorical distribution. Example is the selection of column graph. So we have here column graph, line graph, pie graph, bio graph, area graph, scatter graph, and other charts or graphs. Click on column graphs and you will have here to choose from among the 2D column graphs, the 3D column graphs, the cylinder, the cone, the pyramid, and all other graphs. Example would be clicking a 2D column graph. In clicking the 2D column graph, what is shown here is the bar graph, the column graph of the categorical distribution with the title civil status of respondents. And here we have frequency. So, delete frequency to produce only, leave only civil status of respondents. And this is not needed. Delete this part. And you can choose also chart layouts. There are a number of chart layouts provided and uh, choose a chart layout that is usually used in researches, particularly this chart layout here to give us the column title and the row title of the graph. Notice that the bars have common sides or they have no gaps. In order to place a gap from one bar to the next, right click on any of the bars, then click on Format Data Series, and when the Format Data Series window is shown, adjust the gap width from no gap to large gap. So if you have, for example, a 56% or you can have 100% or 95% close, you have now gaps between or from one bar to another. This is one example of a column or bar graph as termed in statistics books. The next thing to do is to rename 
the title of the horizontal axis of the Quran. The horizontal axis, divorced, married, single, widowed, these are the status categories. So, replace these words with status or civil status. The next title to be replaced is the title of the vertical axis. Replace these words with frequency. And this is the desired bar graph or column graph that is constructed from Excel. However, when you plan to change the type of graph, right click and choose change chart type. After choosing change chart type, you can choose from any of the graphs, for example, pie graph, Pi in 3D. Okay. So a pie in 3D graph is shown. And to write the labels, right click on any part of the pie graph and uh, add data labels. And here the frequencies are added in each section of the pie graph. You can change to another type of graph by still right clicking on doing right click on the chart area change chart type you can have bar graph with horizontal bars and we have here the bars are horizontal the civil status categories are placed in the vertical and the frequency frequencies are placed in the horizontal. 